Good Monday, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Conversation Daily News. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Well, it's a brand new day. It's a brand new week, which means it's a brand new opportunity for you to do something amazing, and it all begins today. We, of course, have your news headlines coming up on this Monday. We have the truth of the day with Mary Ellen Taganovich. And in today's entertainment spotlight, you've been part of my conversation with home improvement expert Bailey Carson. Enjoy today's broadcast. For Conversation Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with your Monday headlines. In national news, search in Florida collapsed to take weeks. Deaths reached 90. Authorities searching for victims of a deadly collapse in Florida said Sunday they hope to conclude their painstaking work in the coming weeks as a team of first responders from Israel departed the site. Miami-Dade County Mayor said 90 deaths have now been confirmed in last month's collapse of the 12-story Champlain Tower South in Southside, up from 86 a day before. Among them are 71 bodies that have been identified and their families have been notified, she said. Some 31 people remain listed as missing. The miami Days Police Department said three young children were among those recently identified. Crews continue to search the remaining pile of rubble, peeling layer after layer of debris in search of bodies. The unrelenting search has resulted in the recovery of over 14 million pounds of concrete and debris. The miami Day Fire Chief said it was uncertain when recovery operations would be completed, because it remains hard to know when the final body would be found. When the recovery phase began last Wednesday, officials were hoping it could be done within three weeks. In an interview Sunday morning near the site, it was said now that they were not sure if it would be fewer than two weeks based on the current pace of work. We were looking at a 14-day to 21-day time frame, adding that the timeline remained a sliding scale. The Southside Mayor, Charles Burkett, stressed the care that rescue workers are taking in peeling back layers of rubble in hopes of recovering not only bodies, but also possessions of the victims. He said the work is so delicate that crews have found unbroken wine bottles amid the rubble. Members of the crews that have been searching the site for 24 hours a day since the collapse lined both sides of the street on Sunday, shaking hands and bidding farewell to the Israeli team that has been helping. The Israeli team joined other task forces from around the United States to assist first responders from Miami and Miami-Dade County working in 12-hour shifts. And more national news, Fauci says it's too soon to say if Americans may need vaccine booster. The top U.S. infectious disease expert said Sunday it is entirely conceivably, maybe likely, that Americans will need a booster dose of the COVID-19 vaccine in the coming months, but it is too soon for the government to recommend another shot. Dr. Anthony Fauci, who is President Joe Biden's chief medical advisor, said the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration did the right thing last week by pushing back against drug maker Pfizer's assertion about a booster within 12 months. Hours after Pfizer's statement Thursday that it would seek authorization for a third dose, the two agencies said they did not view the booster shots as necessary at this time. He said it was quite possible in the coming months as data evolves that the government may urge a booster based on certain factors as age and underlying medical conditions. In more national news, fires rage in several states as heat wave brawls U.S. West. Firefighters working in searing weather struggled to contain a Northern California wildfire that continued to grow Sunday and forced a temporary closure of a major highway, one of several large blazes burning around the U.S. West amid another heat wave that shattered records and strained power grids. Two firefighters died on Saturday in Arizona after a plane they were in crashed during a survey of a small wildfire in Mohave County. The Beach C-90 aircraft was helping perform reconnaissance over the lightning-caused Cedar Basin fire when it went down around noon. In more national news, billionaire Richard Branson reaches space in his own ship. Swashbuckling billionaire Richard Branson hurtled into space aboard his own wing rocket ship Sunday, bringing astrotourism a step closer to reality and beating out his exceedingly rich rival Jeff Bezos. The nearly 71-year-old Branson and five crewmates from his Virgin Galactic Space Tourism Company reached an altitude of 53.5 miles over the New Mexico desert, enough to experience three to four minutes of weightlessness and witness the curvature of the Earth and then glided back home to a runway landing. And finally in entertainment news, Black Widow soars to pandemic box office record. Even with an option to watch Black Widow at home, 
audiences went to the movie theater in pandemic record numbers this weekend to catch the first Marvel movie released in two years. The Walt Disney Company said Sunday the superhero pick generated an estimated $80 million in ticket sales in North America alone, combined with $78 million from international theaters and at least $60 million in Disney Plus Premier Access rentals. Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. It's now time for the Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Saganovich. Mary Ellen, it's all yours. Hi, this is Mary Ellen with your Truth of the Day. True beauty is the person who shares a smile with a perfect stranger. True beauty comes from your heart when you lend a helping hand to someone in need. Listen to a friend in pain or give unconditionally. Be committed to knowing and being your real, authentic self. Become aware. You are enough, perfect, just the way you are now. If you are striving to be perfect, you are telling yourself you are not enough. Nothing could be further from the truth. Accept the fact you are amazing, imperfections and all. Use your strength to become vulnerable as you reach out to others for assistance. Stand strong in your beliefs while allowing other people to share their inner beauty with you. Today, know you are beautiful just the way you are as you share your inner beauty with the world. As you go about, enjoy your day. Bailey Carson is featured in today's Entertainment Spotlight, sharing with you guys how you can make the most of your home this summer. You're listening to Conversations Daily News. For Conversations Daily News, I'm Cyrus Webb with the Entertainment Spotlight. Home improvement expert Bailey Carson joined me recently on Conversations Live, the radio show, to talk about how we begin to prioritize those projects around our home and do so affordably. Here's a bit of our conversation. Bailey, really appreciate the time today. Wonderful to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, And you're right. Our to-do lists are probably longer than ever after spending so much time at home, and it can be hard to know what to prioritize. I think that home maintenance is really about prevention. Uh, and so saving yourself money in the short term and the long term. Um, one project that we always recommend at ANG based on our cost data because we know it has a great payback is weatherproofing. And this is a pretty simple project. So think about caulking and weather stripping your doors and windows. This is going to help keep that AC in this summer and the heat in this winter and save you all year round on your utility bills. Another one is uh, thinking about those outdoor entertaining spaces. I know we're all anxious to socialize after a strange year. Um, So if you have a deck, a patio, or a fence, think about restaining it, resealing it, or repairing any damaged areas. At Angie, we're seeing a ton of requests for these types of services as folks are getting out and having friends and family over and really want things to look great and to be safe. And also, this is going to help them last longer. Love that, Bailey. Bailey, you know, and and you're right. There are so many things we need to do, and it can save us money in the long term. But, of course, some people are thinking about, okay, when they're starting these projects, how can they save money going into them? So how should we prioritize and budget these home maintenance projects? Yeah, it's a a very good question. So, you know, I think about two things. One, how are, are any of these things obvious to you? Do you know that, you know, those gutters really need to be cleaned and there could be water damage happening, which would be very expensive to fix, you know, through a roof repair or foundation repair? Cyrus Webb, Conversations Daily News. We thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Conversations Daily News. We'll have you guys on tomorrow's more news. Truth of the Day with Mary Ellen Taganovich and, of course, your entertainment spotlight. Until then, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Daily News today. Let's make today amazing. Take care.